Um, I did promise something a minute ago I didn't do. I want to do real quick before we dive into it. Let me do the regular reverse switch and do it a little faster. Smooth, but not too fast. Watch me. I'm going to take out that little step so you guys see me move it once. So it comes in basic. Boom. As soon as I move, guys, it's here. As soon as I come up, it's here. And then what? Oh, right now. And you're on. So that's what it looks like when you actually move and you take that little breakout. But we got to get rid of that hitch. So now we'll look at the arm correct one. I want to make sure I, I said I was going to do it, so I had to do it. So I had to do it. Got to do it. So I'm locked in. That's the man of his word. This one is just pretty quick. So when I can feel that hand come in, gap one, I get control. When I turn, guys, I'm going to turn not 45. I'm going to turn here. So we think about four right angles. It's the only way we can have four. It's the only really way. Look at this. It's the only way we can have 90 and 90 is four right angles. Think about that's what I'm using the whole time. The T's. And then we bring the X across for our 45s. I need the four right angles to be able to do that. I'm not trying to dork out on you guys. I understand what you see at the mats. Use the lines on the mats. It's the best training tool there is as far as wrestling. Use the lines. You need tape, use tape. I used to do it all the time with my guys. So I'm here. When I do this, I get the wrist. It comes in. Boom. Watch. I don't go here. I don't. Okay? I'm going to throw my arm high up into his arm. I think this is going to be an arm drag. See one again? Boom. When I come, I go here. So now I'm going this way. Look at the line on the mat. And I'm taking his arm and whipping it by me this way. And I'm still pivoting. Look. I'm pivoting around this way. And my foot still ended up where? Behind it. Drop the knee. The turtles. Pressure. Or pressure. Make sure the leg is not straight. Straight leg is a dead leg. Drive in. Create pressure. Open spur attacks. Good. And if they don't turn, rip that head off. <laughs> So he in town, he's on my left. You guys know what I'm doing. You'll hear me say a million times. Good. Hopefully it'll be embedded. My right foot is on top. Elbows are always deep. Right hand is blocking, getting control. Left hand's blocking the cross face. There it is. I'm establishing and getting positive control of my hands. When it's time to go, I'm going to stop when I get 90. So when I step up, it's got to get to here. All right? My break is on right now. If I really want to do what? This is going to be a transition all the way through. Drag. You have to push the hand. I've still got the wrist. Push it like you're putting it in your pocket. You would on normal arm drag. You'd be putting their hand where? In your pocket. Do the same thing, but look, I'm still pivoting. I'd be going where? Around, here, through, to top referee again. Okay, let's do that one a little quick. Yes, sir. So, not trying to go fast, but a little smooth, so you can kind of see a little more in action. Make sure you put your hands down. And what happens a lot of times, remember what I said, if two hands hit the ground, the neck is open. Hunt your bulldogs on this stuff. We're gonna do it a few times later. Gonna bulldog be there? Huh? The bulldog, bulldog choke. Don't go hunting dogs. <laughs> okay? Here. So again, he comes in, boom. When I go this time a little bit faster, nothing crazy. Here, pull, and up. And take the back. Okay?